ladies and gentlemen. I'm the last presenter. Uh, I guess you're all exhausted from all the information and the, the huge presentation you have heard. So, so yes, yes. So, so we will change to sports. And sports will you get alive again. Uh, we have so much heard about uh, the attitudes of men to go to screening. Um, and you have heard it, that's a very uh, complicated way to get, to get the men to screen, to get screened, because they have a very strange attitude against screening and their own health. I want, I want to add uh, one reason more to this, because uh, if you look at the genetics, so you know that the definition of the male gender comes from our Y chrom chromosome, and if you talk to genetics, you will hear that these Y chromosome is a defective chromosome, <laughs> and sometimes it will disappear. I think it's very, very important to get the main screen because the diseases are preventable. They uh, make the, the, uh, the men's uh, be dangered minority, and perhaps without men, I think that's not good living on this world. So we have to care for men. Um, I will go to sports. And why we, why we talk about sports, please, who can tell me in this audience, in this room, who won the uh, Formula One racing last, last, uh, yesterday in China? He, please, raise a hand. Who knows the results of this race? <laughs> no, it is a German who won, but interestingly, nobody knows the results of these car racing. I have tried yesterday to get the information by the TV channels, which are, can uh, reach here in, in the hotel. It was not possible to have any report on the Formula One race in, in China. I get information on golf, it's very interesting, on baseball and football, but not on Formula One racing. So let me tell the results. Uh, the winner is Sebastian Vettel, a German. <laughs> this, Sebastian Vettel is one of the youngest ones. The second is Mark Weber, and the third is Jensen Button. Okay, for Lynn, that's for you. Okay, that's, I think, very important, and that makes the difference between America and Europe in uh, the per perspective of the acceptance of Formula One. In uh, in, in these actual series, the BMW F1 racing is the only German racing team. And you see here the man sitting in his cockpit. And you see here the, both, the, both the drivers, Mr. Heidfeld and Mr. Kubitska. Uh, they drive, they is, are the drivers for the BMW one, F1 team. And because it's so important for Germany and for Europe to look at the Formula One, uh, in uh, Germany, every man's dream is to drive a car like Michael Schumacher, his Fer Ferrari has driven, and therefore, man's everybody darling, I think, is his car. Therefore, uh, we have tried to address men at a situation where the normal man comes with his car. In Germany, all cars used to be driven on road have to be checked every two years in a certified garage or checkpoint. If the car passed the car check, they will get an of official seal which shows the car's safety. Ordinary men, men bring their cars to the car check. The Felix Buddha Foundation in cooperation with the state government of Baden-Württemberg and the DECRA certification company launched a campaign to invite men for colorectal cancer. And the problem, and that's the reason why we address men, is the men has a higher incidence rate for adenomas, advanced adenomas and adenomas, and has a very higher risk to get colorectal cancer than female. And you see this on, on these um, graph from our uh, National Cancer Registry where you can see that colorectal cancers occur very often and more in men, even the rectal 
uh, carcinoma and the colon carcinoma too. And adversely, their participation rates, their acceptance rates for screening are lower than that of female. So the problems, I think, could be resolved if the campaign which we undertake should be addressing the men where they get at the places they will love to be. And the, place, the places where the men love to be uh, are the places where the car care takes place. And we, the Felix Boda and the DECRA, showed up at car places to inform men about colorectal cancer screening. <laughs> our, campaign, our campaign was supported by a famous racing car driver, Hans-Joachim Stuck, which you see uh, the second from the right side. That's uh, the son of the famous, famous Hans Stuck, which uh, was, a car, was a car driver in the 1940 and 50, and he won second times, two times uh, the German Grand Prix. He, by himself, Hans-Joachim Stuck, get regularly uh, get screened by colonoscopy, and we as gastroenterologists at this point provided the visitors of this checkpoint with in-depth information on colonoscopy. Local newspaper informed about the campaign, and some hundred men were interested in information on colorectal cancer screening. This campaign will be continued this year in Stuttgart and in Munich again. The DECRA certification company in cooperation with the Felix Burda Foundation launched a certificate for, for the prefer, preferred screening clinic or screening office. The preferred screening clinic has to undergo an on-site visit for auditing indicators which prove the performance of a clean, safe and painless colonoscopy. If the clinic successfully passed the audit, the clinic will be awarded with a seal of the preferred screening clinic or office. That's, that's one of the important difference between the normal licensure of endoscopists at the national level, because this is an on-site audit in the office by an auditor which is trained for this auditing. And that's very important to have an on-site audit. So let me conclude. In regard to colorectal cancer screening, men should be enforced to get screened increasingly. Men are at increased risk to get colorectal cancer, and men should be addressed specifically for motivation and information about screening. The Felix Border Foundation and the DECRA campaign serves as a practical approach, and it is only a starting point. It should be continued for the next days. Thank you for your attention.